we want to see the story behind um, the food that we're eating in the broader context of our of our lives and our community and and the season that's happening. I think what drew me to becoming a chef is the hospitality element of it. It's a really real way to connect with people. My day becomes kind of attached to cooking that person's meal and you don't always find that in, in such a tangible manner. If you want to be a cheesemaker, you have to really love from your heart. It's not it's a job, pay your bill. It's not about that. Sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself. Sometimes you have to work seven days. Sometimes middle of night you have to come here and load the cheese from the mall. I was a vegetarian for 15 years. As a child, I made a very heated decision that I wanted to be a vegetarian. Towards the end of college, I started looking a lot at land management programs. And so I decided that the best way to support farmers and ranchers that were utilizing these regenerative agricultural practices was to start eating meat again. When I was a little kid, I didn't think, I'm going to be a farmer. Eric grows 250 varieties of vegetables, grains, legumes, and herbs. We make authentic dumplings. My dad, my dad is a great cook. We had our own restaurant. I quit. First time he did not like it, but I didn't care. That's what I'm gonna do. It makes me happy. If it's just a beat that they don't like, you know, I would love it if they would trust us to hopefully prepare that beat as best we can to maybe change their mind. We get to form ties and bonds between a rural and an urban environment and create community around, around this common interest, this table of food.